Hey there, fellow gamers and lore enthusiasts. Today we're diving into a topic that's sure to ignite some passionate discussions across the Eharnamite community and beyond. We're talking about Bloodborne, a game that's been hailed as a masterpiece by many since its release nearly a decade ago. But the question we're asking today is, does Bloodborne truly deserve all the praise it gets or are we looking at it through rose-tinted glasses overshadowed by nostalgia and bias? I'm Saad Ali and I've sunk over 600 hours into the dark gothic world of Bloodborne, so believe me when I say this isn't a question I ask lightly. Bloodborne vs. The Evolution of From Software Games First off, let's acknowledge the elephant in the room Bloodborne is undeniably a phenomenal game. It's atmospheric, challenging and deeply engaging. But as we mark its ninth anniversary, it's time to revisit its standing in the pantheon of From Software's titles, especially in the light of successors like Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice and Elden Ring. Sekiro took the gaming world by storm with its refined combat system, emphasizing aggression, precision, and the thrill of the duel. It wasn't just about dodging and striking, it was about mastering the art of the blade, making every encounter a heart-pounding experience. The posture system and death blows felt like a natural evolution from Bloodborne's hit-and-run tactics, offering a more rewarding and, dare I say, superior gameplay experience. Then came Elden Ring, a title that expanded the scope of what a From Software game could be. Its open world design didn't just add scale, it enriched the lore and world building, creating an experience that was both vast and dense with detail. Bloodborne's Iharnam is unforgettable, but the lands between in Elden Ring offers a breadth of exploration and discovery that sets a new benchmark for the genre. The Bias Toward Bloodborne now let's address the bias. Yes, Bloodborne has an ardent fanbase and for good reason. However, the extent to which it's been elevated can sometimes overshadow objective critique. Comparing it to Sekiro or Elden Ring isn't about diminishing its achievements, but rather recognizing the evolution of game design and player experiences within From Software's repertoire. It's akin to comparing the classic Spider-Man 2 movie game to the more recent offerings by Insomniac. Nostalgia plays a powerful role in how we remember and rate games, but it shouldn't cloud our judgment to the point of overlooking the advancements in storytelling, gameplay and design that newer titles bring to the table. The unchanging charm of Bloodborne. Despite these points, it's crucial to remember that Bloodborne's charm hasn't faded. Its atmosphere, lore, and the sheer adrenaline of its combat are as captivating as ever. It's a game that many, including myself, return to with fondness, eager to relive the thrill of the hunt. Its special place in the hearts of its players is undisputed, but as we critique and compare, we must also recognize the ways in which the medium has grown and changed. Looking ahead. As we stand on the brink of potentially seeing a Bloodborne port for PC, the conversation around the game is rekindled with a mix of nostalgia and critical reassessment. It's a testament to Bloodborne's impact that years later we're still discussing, debating and dissecting its merits and where it stands among From Software's illustrious lineup. So whether you're a die-hard fan ready to defend Iharnom to the last or a gamer who sees Bloodborne as a stepping stone to greater titles, there's no denying the impact it's had. And perhaps that's the true measure of its worth, not whether it outshines its successors, but how it paved the way for them, setting a foundation upon which they could build and exceed. I'm Saad Ali, and this has been a journey through the gothic streets of Iharnam and beyond, questioning, reflecting, and ultimately celebrating the legacy of Bloodborne. Whether you agree or disagree, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop your comments below, let's get this discussion going. And as always, happy gaming.